I, I'm just curious, like, what differences are in your game, do you feel, compared to last year, given the experience you had and some of the stuff you worked on? I think the biggest thing I took away from last year was uh, just the experience. Um, I think the more reps you get in live games, the more comfortable you get. Um, so starting 15 games last year, I feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more confident in uh, what I need to do to win and what not to do to lose. Um, you know, obviously last year I threw 15 picks. That's unacceptable. Um, and that's the easiest way to lose games is turn the ball over. So if I can keep the ball in our possession, uh, just move the chains. And, you know, obviously against Packers last year, we, we moved the ball. We got down in the red zone. We just couldn't punch it in. So uh, against these guys, you know, move the ball, get down the red zone, and score this time. I think, uh, you know, I like our chances. What things did you see in yourself even this summer that showed you some of the progression that you feel you've made? Yeah, um, you know, obviously experience doesn't really help you in the off season. Um, you know, there's a couple things last year that I knew I needed to work on, whether it's footwork or arm strength. And uh, so I went out to Cali a couple times and worked with the same guy that Carson works with um, to try and try and improve on that. And I feel like I have. Um, it's still a work in progress, but it's something I work on every day. Uh, along those lines, I mean, what's kind of the physiology of, of everybody? Everybody's different. So what was it that you saw or you were told, hey, this will help you with velocity and other things? Yeah, um, you know, I was really just kind of using my arm last year. Um, wasn't really getting my hips into it at times. Um, I think that's that's where you get all your power from. Uh, so again, you know, I, I've tried to use my hips a lot more. Uh, it's kind of like a golf swing. Um, pretty much the same exact thing as a golf swing. Um, so I've been golfed a lot <laughs> and, uh, and try to work on those mechanics so uh, that, was, that was my offseason. Can you compare yourself to when you got thrust into the lineup last year to now what what um, just in terms of confidence maybe and having done it? Yeah like I just said earlier um, you know 15 games of playing and, and live football uh, it's going to give you the confidence and uh, what you need to do what you need to look for and what not to do so um, again I've been looking at a lot of film from last year and what I played, uh, good games, bad games, and uh, the game against Green Bay last year. And uh, I just feel like I'm you know, head and shoulders above where I was at that point. Um, Taylor, obviously we talked through your journey here about getting more recognition and attention. This was this offseason was after you started 15 games. What was that like? Did you feel like we're getting more attention, more recognition, or just how is your offseason maybe different than you know, before? Yeah, you know, the previous, what, six, seven years, um, never really played. So I was kind of like under the radar, go home, don't really get noticed. It's, you know, it's nice. I can go out to restaurants and eat. And now, you know, now it's totally different. Um, you know, which is, it's, it's nice at some points you go out to dinner and you might get a meal for free. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, but again, there's a lot of people that want to, you know, take pictures or stuff like that. And, um, and it's just different. You know, there's, there's a lot of good to it. There's a lot of, you know, there's some annoyance to it a little bit. Um, but again, you know, this is something I've been looking forward to my whole life, playing football in the NFL, and that's what comes with it. And I don't know if, I don't know if this is accurate, but it seems like you're, you've got more of a calm, confident presence now than maybe when you did before, especially when you first got here. Do you, do you, do you feel that? And if so, is that just from the experience you've kind of been going through the last year? Yeah, I think that has something to do with it. Um, and again, you know, Getting, playing 15 games, you start to feel more confident. The game starts slowing down. Um, the week to week starts, you understand it. You know, I was just a little bit overwhelmed last year. Um, you know, first time starting, you know, 15 games, uh, it gets to you a little bit. But you know, I, I kind of understand what everything, what it goes, what goes into it from week to week, day to day, and uh, prepare for it. Did that compound as the season went on? Like if you're struggling to keep pace and keep up? Well, you know, when you're losing four games straight, yeah. Um, your body's starting to break down a little bit. Um, but again, when you win four straight, uh, things are getting easier. So you know, the secret recipe is just going out and winning. Uh, that's the only step that matters. Of all the weeks to come back, it's against the Packers. Um, what, what's that mean to, to kind of get another chance at them? Yeah, it's cool. Um, as many of you know, I was born a Green Bay fan. My dad's from Wisconsin. So I grew up watching uh, Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers. And, um, one of my last memories of me and my father was uh, we got to watch the 2011 Super Bowl together, and that's when Green Bay won, and Aaron Rodgers won that thing. So um, to go up to Lambeau last year was super neat, and to get the first start this year against against Green Bay at home is going to be super cool. So um, yeah, I'm excited for it. Hey, Dell, what was the first thing that went through your mind when you knew this team was going to be back out there again? Um, I was excited. 
Um, a little anxious. I remember Carson telling me right after the game that he felt like he had a, a cracked finger. And I told him I was going to pretend like he didn't say that to me. I had some, <laughs> some plans to go play some golf down in Norfolk. So, <laughs> um, went down there and worked on my mechanics a little bit. Um, but no, you know, I was excited. Um, it's unfortunate that I had to come in these circumstances, but um, you know, everyone in that locker room would, would be lying to you if they said they weren't excited to go play if it was their shot. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to make the most of the opportunity. Now, Taylor, last year you got limited time with Curtis uh, with all of his injuries, and then this year, obviously, John, and hopefully he's going to be able to play this weekend as quarterback and, again, getting another crack at a team that's very similar to what you saw last time. How can those two really help you uh, go out there this time and get the win for your team? Yeah, it's huge. Um, you know, you guys see what Curtis can do. Um, it's amazing, and you know, I've been with him in Carolina, so the timing with me and him is, I, I feel like, it's there. Um, I've, I know what to expect from him. Jahan, on the other hand, um, I haven't got a lot of reps with him. You know, throughout the OTAs and offseason, um, you know, Carson was really working a lot with him. Um, but you know, I feel comfortable with him. He's a smart guy. He makes a lot of good plays, um, and I feel like the, I have a lot of trust in him. And I'm sure he has the same in me. So um, it's going to be it's going to be fun to have those guys out there and, and see what they can do. Just like the circumstances when you come into the game are always pretty wild. Whether it was just getting here because COVID, preparing for a playoff game, even last year the first one. Now this, what do you kind of make of? You're not just like another player coming in for another player. It's it always seems to be the craziest kind of circumstance. What do you make of that? Yeah, I don't know. I try try not to think of it. Um, again, I think the biggest thing I've done pretty well throughout the years is just being prepared if my number is called. Um, you know, that's going from taking classes and being called up and playing great in playoffs to, you know, same thing with Fitz last year and, and Carson right now. So. Um, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing as a professional is just you have to be ready when your number's called. That's how you get your opportunity. Not everyone's a first, first to first, third round pick where you're going to be starting immediately. So um, I think that's the biggest thing I've done. And with focusing on arm strength, I mean, you still took a lot of shots down the field last year. Does this allow you to take more, or do you think it'll be about the same? Um, I, I want to say it's more. I think it, I just feel like I've, I'm more comfortable with it. Um, I know where to put the ball. I know. Um, how far I need to throw it. I'm more comfortable with those guys down the field. So um, I just feel more comfortable throwing it down the field this year. You had the comments this offseason about, you know, Carson's making X amount of money. You know, you're making Y and you understand him being a starter. But now that you're starting, this team needs you. Like, have you felt like they've always been good to you or did you understand the move to go get Carson? Just what's that dynamic like? Yeah, I understood it. Um, and I get it. Uh, you know, you're always looking for the next best guy in this league and uh, that's the only way to get better so um you know i understood it i um i accepted it and i just you know kept working hard um and it's the only thing i could do it's the only thing i control so um again you know th throughout the whole offseason i was like i'm gonna prepare like i'm starting because who knows what's gonna happen the nfl's a crazy game 100 percent of the people in the nfl get hurt at some point so um again it's unfortunate that carson got hurt but um you know here we are and you know, i'm excited to go play and after having the starting experience of last year and then the six weeks of watching games this year, has that helped you kind of see things differently from the sideline? Yeah, you can um, kind of take a step back and see the bigger picture. Um, you know, when you're when you're in the heat of things, it's hard to kind of realize that stuff because, you know, there's bullets flying and you just don't know. Um, but, you know, taking a step back, being on the sideline, kind of seeing things progress, seeing what coaches are talking about, um, you know, you improve that way. So. Uh, I definitely think it's helped me throughout the year, for, throughout last year and this year. Um, is there any kind of like dissimilarity in the offense with Terrence and Curtis when you guys are in Carolina as a coach? Is that similar to him, like being able to be more familiar in the passing game as a running back? What does it mean to have that kind of security in Terrence? And like, what, what, what has Taylor's experience like helped you build this offense? Where does he need to help you? Do I JD? Yeah. Yeah. Um, like JD's an awesome guy, not just on the field, but in the locker room as well. Um, he's probably one of the most liked guys on the team. And, um, you know, he's funny. Sometimes I'll start saying the play and he'll try to finish the play before I can finish it. Um, you know, he knows his offense. He knows where our reads are. Um, if he could throw the ball, he could probably be a quarterback. But um, he's, uh, you know, he's a special, special part of this team and he brings a lot to the table. So it's, it's nice to have him. Sam and Nick, you last two. Are there parts of your weekly preparation that are different this year that you learned from last year specifically in terms of what you'll do this year to prepare? Uh, are you talking about like in the film room and stuff? Yeah, or just like during the week where you're going to get ready? Um, you know, again, it's been a little bit different from last year because then I was kind of thrust in week two. Um, 
So, you know, from, from day to day basis, you know, working on my body, whether I'm getting treatment, uh, getting the workouts in, making sure I get my conditioning in, um, and then film. Um, I watch a lot of film throughout the day, and I do believe that there is film overload. I think if you watch too much, you start to imagine things or see things that might not be there. It might just be one play that you're talking about, and you're like, well, it was just one play. Um, so I try, and, I try and balance all of that out. So when Sunday comes, I feel very comfortable and I'm not really thinking things. How do you know when you've watched the right amount? <laughs> well, there's no, there's no certain timetable. I think it's just, you know, you can only watch the same amount of clips so many times to where, you know, you get it, you understand it. Um, but I do believe if you keep watching it, you start thinking, hey, I might be able to throw it to them in this window. Well, that might be a little dangerous. And that's just one clip out of a thousand. So um, I think it's just keep it simple, go out there and play fast. Over these last few years, have you, as you've seen more and more fans wearing the number four jersey and you're taking selfies with fans on the sidelines, has there ever been a moment where it really kind of sinks in, you know, your, your popularity and, you know, how fans feel about you here? Uh, I try not to think about it. Um, you know, my biggest thing when it comes to fans is you know, I've always been a football fan and, um, you know, I've always had dreams of being in the NFL. So I remember when I was a kid and I went to the Falcons training camp down in Georgia and those players that took the time to you know, take a picture with you or sign your auto, sign your auto, or, you know, sign whatever you had, uh, that meant a lot to me. So um, it kind of made me dream about, hey, I want to go to the NFL, but, you know, it's cool. So if I could just give that back to those the kids, you know, fans, whoever they are, um, and that's just my way of kind of giving back. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's great having fans, you know, people encouraging you and, and uh, hoping that you do well. Um, obviously, you want that. So hopefully we can go out there on Sunday and, and give them something to be proud of. Last Lone, one. Lone said earlier today that you're almost like a coach out there because of your familiarity, your experience here. Um, do you feel that more just in the way you, you work with Sam, you back up Carson, you know the other guys? Do you, do you feel like you're somewhat of a coach on the sidelines? Yeah, I do. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a cool feeling, you know, when you have guys come up to you and asking you, hey, what did you see here? Uh, what can I do to help you guys out? Stuff like that. And, um, you know, it's, it means a lot to me. It means they trust me. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think that helps out a lot of people. You know, we have a lot of, we have some young tight ends in there that sometimes get confused. You know, it's just this playbook is kind of tough to, to learn. So uh, whatever way I can help them out, um, you know, I'll do it. So it's, it's, I think that's one thing I kind of bring to the table. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, thanks, Kevin. Thanks,